Sir Rodney commended the officers, noting, one will easily find characteristics in them which are worthy of emulation. Such as their being a good role model, their being professional, productive, disciplined, credible, focused, reliable, and respectful. Outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, Colonel Trevor Thomas, joined in congratulating the officers and offered this advice. Remember your mission and remember the force's core values because that is what is going to propel you up the ladder or break you. ABDF nurse, local Lieutenant Carla Thomas, was commissioned as first lieutenant. It means a lot to me because I started this journey like 18 years ago. That's when I joined the military and that's what I always wanted to be. Dr. Sujay Gore, who takes over from the late Dr. Prince Ramsey, was also appointed first lieutenant. Five officer cadets have attained the rank of second lieutenant. They include Jaheel Kananir, five years in the force. I, I can say now I feel a sense of accomplishment and basically I'm ready for the next thing, <laughs> the next level. Marlon Matherin Jr. serving two years come October 2020. I feel motivated right now. Being a second lieutenant means I have more responsibilities, so I have more changes to make within me. Ashawn Brown, also five years in the force. This is actually just the start of a long road, but I'm glad to be on that road and looking forward to serving my country well, putting in the work. Randolph Best, Jr. III, serving seven years and a graduate of Caribbean Maritime University. The force goes through a transition that I can be much resourceful in the transition in our force and just making Antigua and Barbuda a better place. Incoming Colonel Talbert Benjamin was also presented with his commissioning scroll. However, his appointment will be finalized Friday. Commandant Antigua and Barbuda Cadet Corps, Lieutenant Colonel Glyne Dunner, was presented with the Caribbean Cadet Medal CCM, having served 50 years in the organization. Sherilyn Beza reporting. For ABS News.